Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. We're in Greece in a cave for the Phyllis Athens Climbing Festival and it's pouring with rain, but it's all right because Steve McClure and Nico Favrez are on an absolute mission. They found what is an 8B plus line. Originally they thought it wasn't climbed, but it has been done. They're gonna do it, they're gonna red point it, they're gonna work it, and we're gonna be there to show you all the raw action. Okay, so Nico, you've gone up the route, you've had a feel of the holds, you've worked it out, you've stuck in the drawers for Steve. Um, what's it like as a route? Just talk us through it a little bit. Ah, it um, starts with a pretty easy entrance, you get the no hand rest and then it's uh, basically uh, maybe 15 move um, like a bouldery section into a some pumpy part and then again a rest and then some final moves that are not too hard but maybe a little exciting if you don't know what to do. It's graded 8B plus, uh, having felt the moves, mm. softer, harder, 9A, what are you thinking? 9A for sure. <laughs> no, no, I actually didn't know the grade. I thought uh, after going up maybe 8A plus, I thought, yeah, honestly. But uh, it's a good route. It's, yeah, it's very good route. Cool moves, good rock, completely natural. Yeah, definitely worth climbing. Yeah. And I'm always interested in this because when I try to on site a route and I'm a bit of a punter, my on siting ability is basically just touching all the holds until I find something I can pull up on. Obviously, you're more calculated than that. When you're looking up at the route, do you know already the kind of sequences, the kind of moves you're going to do, or do you just touch one and then make it work? How, how, does, it, how does it work for you? Yeah, it's kind of both. It's uh, some, somehow you, you kind of scan the rock and then you try to, to see how you're going to do the move, but then sometimes you get to the hold you've seen and then it doesn't feel like you thought it was and then you, you end up improvising as you go. So it's quite uh, nice because it's both like a bit of rational analysis and also just feeling the moment and following your instincts.
nice, huh? Good job. Good job. Yeah. Good. Yeah, it's good. I enjoyed that. Yeah, that was good. I enjoyed that. Yeah. It was worth coming for that. Yeah, it's a good mix. Yeah, and for the buffet yeah. breakfast. Oh, yeah. It's definitely worth coming for that. All right, so Steve, you kind of jumped on this route that we thought was unclimbed, then we discovered it was climbed. Yeah, yeah. About 8B plus, you think? Um, uh, maybe a little softer than 8B plus, mm -hmm. to be honest. It's always nice to take a hard grade like that, but sometimes you know in your heart you're going to be cheating if you take that kind of number. Um, a bit easier. ACA plus, maybe. So approaching a route like that, um, you had a bit of knowledge being shouted at from the ground. Yeah, yeah. I saw you a few times, you sort of pause, you really were very focused, and that's generally what I've noticed with the way you climb, is you're very calculated and focused. How do you control yourself in those moments? Um, I don't know, it's just one of those natural things. I think some people have it. And yeah, when I'm on the ground now, I'm just like not so bothered, quite relaxed. But when I'm climbing, it's like all there. That's what climbing is all about for me, that focus, you know, you're in the zone and you're there and it's just amazing. It's amazing. I got cold hands though. That's why I waited so long at the top, because I thought this next bit looks really hard, you know, it's going to be a real sting in the tail and if I fall off, they'll be really annoying. Actually, it was really easy, but my fingers are freezing. It's like back in the UK, man. Yeah, you're right. I was out there standing in the rain oh, filming you. Yeah. It was, it was harder for me, Steve. Oh, I'm sorry about sorry. that. Sorry. Just I'm fast sorry. the next time. <laughs> um, and then the route itself. So let's just talk it through a little bit. So the beginning, fairly simple into the cave and That's then you had that crux bit yeah yeah so easy at the start like nothing and then immediately packs it in crimpy stuff really good sequences actually really really good i think i did a different to nico um but awesome crimpy stuff like the rock is really featured there's like footholds everywhere my best type of climbing where you're not stretched out too much choose whatever feet you want lots of little intermediates lots of handles mega well, Steve, congratulations. Uh, great to see you send that route. Uh, yeah, and hope you enjoy the rest of this yeah, yeah, we'll slightly wet day. <laughs> we're warmed up now. We're good to go. Yeah. Harder? Stepping out now? I reckon so. All right, cool. Well, thank you very much, Steve. See you soon.